Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Tech Wares. Today is December 28th, 2025. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and good holidays. Unfortunately, myself, I did not. Well, it was good. I got to see family, but I ended up cutting my finger, my index finger, really, really badly, where I had to go to the hospital, emergency, I had to go to minor treatment, and I had to get eight stitches, eight stitches on my index finger, it's really painful, but I got to fight through it. And it was just a mistake I made in the kitchen, kitchen mishap. But let's get to the, let's get to the, some news or slash rumors. So next week, not this week coming up, but next week, January 6th or January 5th to January 6th, I think is the CES 2026 beginning of the year consumer um, expo. Consumer Electronic Expo. And Intel will be having, um, they'll have a big presence there. They're going to be officially launching the Intel Panther Lake um, mobile devices, the laptops. And there's big, big, big rumors and leaks that Intel will be also announcing the Intel BMG G31 architecture. The big battle mage, and they're going to be announcing or talking about the B770 GPU. This is the flagship in the series, the desktop flagship. This website did a good job of summarizing everything. So the target product is the Arc B770. Right now, there's only the B uh, B5. How uh, was it? B580 and B570. So this is going to be the B770, the core specs, 32 XE2 cores, 16 gigs of VRAM, the power class is going to be 300 watt, targeting, of course, this is an enthusiast segment, and the launch, dark, uh, launch target, early January, with the reveal at CES 2026. Uh, so, the saga of Intel's high-end Battlemade GPU has finally reached its conclusion. As of late December 2025, official support for the BMG G31 die has uh, BMG G31 SOC, I should say, has surfaced in Intel's V2 profiler and the XPU manager version 1.3.5. So BMG G31 has gotten software support, some software support from Intel's uh, software. Confirming that Big Battle Mage is not only real, but ready for its CES 2026 debut. Built on the XE2 HPG, which is XE2 high performance gaming architecture and TSMC's 5 nanometer or N5 process. This card is Intel's attempt to erase the memory of its Rocky Alchemist launch. Although I think be, uh, the Intel Arc A770 was, in my eyes, a success. It was good. It's pretty good. Um, here's the market reality check. All right. While in initial rumors pointed towards a $349 price point, the current late 2025 global DRAM shortage has pushed the GDDR6 prices significantly. Uh, industry analysts now expect a MSRP closer to 449 to 499 to sustain the margins. Here are some specs. All right, native support for PCIe 5.0 and significantly improved ray tracing throughput. All right, the compute power 32xe2 cores, like I said. 4,096 shaders, a 60% uplift, uplift in core count over the mid-range B580. The memory subsystem, 16 gigs of GDDR6, uh, R6, 256-bit bus. Okay, this outclasses the NVIDIA's 12 gig mid-range cards. The power, like I said, 300 watts, suggests Intel is pushing clock speeds to rival the RTX 5070 performance. And the killer feature, of that's going to be you know um pushed as well with the bmg g31 b770 card is the xcss 3.0 with mfg multi frame gen capable of four times frame generation delivering a smooth 4k 4k gameplay assisted via the ai so the 2026 competitive landscape the b770 enters a crowded field alongside nvidia's rtx 5070 and the AMD's Radeon RX uh, 9070. And here's how in Intel plans to win. 
versus the RTX 5070, while Nvidia retains an edge in pure ray tracing efficiency, Intel 16 gig of VRAM provides more longevity for and, uh, sorry, 1440p ultra textures than in Intel's uh, sorry Nvidia's rumored 12 gig base models versus the R RX 9070 RDNA 4 architecture is highly efficient, but Intel's XCSS3 multi-frame gen currently produces a cleaner image than FSR motion heavy titles. I don't know how we know that XCSS3 hasn't really been released. There's really no independent reviews on it, but in my opinion. Uh, XCSS is better than AMD's FSR, while NVIDIA leads in, in number one with the LSS. Here's some pro insights they added. The 300 watt TDP is a strategic choice. By pushing the silicon beyond the efficiency sweet spot, Intel is signaling they are done playing it safe. They're aiming for performance parity first. Efficiency, efficiency is going to be second in their goals. Final verdict, Intel's persistence. With the BMG G31 die or SOC proves they are committed to the discrete GPU market. If they can stick to a sub 500 price point and deliver rock solid day one drivers at CES 2026, the ARC B770 will be the spoiler that the GPU market desperately needs for gamers tired of the VRAM tax on other platforms. Big Battle Mage looks like the strongest alternative in years, and I'm really happy about this. I'm excited. Um, I think Intel is double, doubling down on discrete graphics cards. And there's even rumors and leaks that Intel is more excited about Druid than they are excited about Celestial. They're going to be still releasing Celestial based on the XE3P architecture. But they're really, really excited for Druid. And I think that's going to be a multi-chip chiplet uh, GPU so that's it for today guys let me know what you guys think uh, pray for me as my finger heals uh, it's, it's, I'm in big pain but I'm excited for the new year 2026 and CES 2026 take care everyone peace out let me know what you think in the comments